I once believed in idyllic conditions Breaking promises is afternoon fun Not grown up I have African roots I'm a third generation South African and I have Anglo-Saxon roots. My grandfather was born in Manchester. And when I was in England last year and the year before, I just felt very much at home, actually. But I feel very at home here. So I feel very ang sort of Afro-Saxon. You know it's not so bad. You see, life, life's a jungle. It's always egos, girls, or money. It's one of the three. Um, that's why bands break up. It's either ego, money, or chicks. End of story. That's, just, that's the bottom line. Whether it's Urban Creep, whether it's Scooters Union, whether it doesn't matter who it is. Bands break up for one of those three reasons. I think it's my best seller. Wherever I go, people rather buy that than anything else because it gives them an introduction to my music based on all the albums I've done and it's just it's a nice album to, to and I put that album together when I went to England in 2004 I didn't want to travel with 10 albums so I put together one album uh, which was a compilation of, of everything I did and uh, rather than call it anything like uh, like Sid Kitchen's Greatest Misses or Sid Kitchen's Lost Hits or whatever I just called it a quintessential it's the quintessential collection of my music and it dates back to the Kitchen Brothers, there's a track on there from the Kitchen Brothers, never released before, so, and it goes right through all my albums, so I'm very proud of that album, because it really does well for me. I take it to teasers and I get a couple of girls to sit in the back with me, because I think the back is big enough to do all sorts of interesting maneuvers, so that's bad. <laughs> no, no. Um, if I could take it anywhere, I would probably take it back to Durban. Yeah, I'd like to go to the Transkei in this car. In the country, when it's cold and early, you wake me to sugarless coffee and a homely smile. But waking up and seeing you peeping out from blankets and seeing you at the foot of bed, I know I still prefer your sister. It's something that I think that. Um, that urbanized African people started to particularize on uh, maybe 80 years ago or so. I learned the trick from Pedro Espasanchez, who's a Spaniard from Cape Town here in Musenberg. Um, and he showed me the trick about eight, nine years ago, and I just never ever grasped it. It just um, flew over my head, and I just put the pipe back in the cupboard. And then about 2002, when I started playing with Madala Kuneni, Madala said to me, when we're in Cape Town, Buffalo, we must get hold of that guy Pedro, he can play the pipe with us. And I thought, no, fuck this, I can play the pipe. So I went back home that weekend, and I, without telling him, I practiced like a real demon. And I came back on the Monday, Tuesday, and I showed him, I said, look at you, child. So I could play the pipe all of a sudden. <laughs> Nice to be in Cape Town, yes I am. Driving in a big Volvo, 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 Volvo car.